Alright, welcome back to our Game Maker tutorial. Today we are going to be making a new enemy for our game. So first off we're going to need two new sprites and this will be really quick. I just want you to show what we're going to be doing is making an uh, enemy that shoots a fireball upwards, okay? So um, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Um, to do Yeah, right here. And I'm going to want this. Uh, wait, do I want to reverse these? I think that I'm going to want to reverse these, so give me a second. I hope this looks the way I want it to. Of course, I can always just modify something in there. And then we'll just come over here to yellow. And then, boom. I'm going to call these things fire pots. Because when I originally made the tech demo for this game, that's what I called them. Like I'm not gonna lie, this is just a remake of a game that I made at this uh at this camp, and like it was a pretty advanced game. Well, for game maker, not really. It wasn't really that advanced of a game, but like it, it was definitely something you could learn a lot about game maker from. You know, it's it's got like a lot of like you know weird like weird off the wall stuff for it that you know you wouldn't expect. And we're gonna file save as fire pot fire pot and then we're just gonna select all this get rid of it blank sprite right I sure hope so and then we're just gonna boom this is gonna be a fireball if you didn't notice so how do I uh, yeah and then wah wah da da I'm so good at making artwork and paint, you guys don't even know. Um, I don't know what to do as a second cut. Okay, we'll just make it yellow. There we go. File. Save as. Fireball. Okay. So we're going to bring in our two sprites. We're going to need our fire pot. Open. Of course, name it. What it's gonna be named, and when, of course we need to go re-edit it because this thing is retarded. And then we're gonna go load sprite. Um, what am I calling? Oh yeah, I need to load it first. Fireball, open fireball, and because of how it's color keyed, in I need to go back to paint. File. Um, yep, not fireball. File. Fire pot. Zoom in right here, and we're just gonna, you know, change a single pixel down here. It's gonna look a little weird, but it should be better now. Low sprite, fire pot. Okay, there we go. Fixed it because of the color king I had to add a little white there. Cause it, cause the look pixel color it color keys out is the one from the bottom left hand corner. You remember that? So when you make a sprite. If that colors, if like the color of the character comes out in the bottom left hand corner, delete that bottom pixel so that way it knows not to color key that. So we're gonna create our object and it's gonna be our uh, first. We're gonna need this fireball object. And it's gonna be like a lot of our other objects and it's just gonna be a sprite and it's gonna be solid. That's it. That's all our fireball object is. Actually, no, that's not it. What's gonna happen is these fire pots every like second and a half are gonna shoot a fireball up. Okay. So, poo, 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 okay? <laughs> um, I'm just going to shoot these fireballs. So every time I created, they got to start moving up, right? At a speed of, uh, let's say, 12. Okay? I want to create it. Now, see, if he's shooting off every second and a half, we need to delete them eventually, right? They need to, they, they need to go away. Because eventually, if they shoot off every, every half, uh, second and a half, eventually what's going to happen is... So many of you are going to be Adam, you're going to run out of RAM. Like, this will take, like, hours and hours to do, though. But it's still clean because you're not going to have any memory leaks from us. So, add event, collision. No, that's not. Ha that's, yeah, no, we do want to do a collision. When when this collides with the wall, what do we want it to happen? Well, we want to delete this. Okay? So, we're going to come over here to the objects tab and right click the delete. Destroy instance. Instance means destroy this object. Okay? So, we have all those created. Now, what do we want to do? Well, we're going to go to our, we're going to start making our fire pot. So we're going to come here, into our object, and I hate how it comes out too big for me. <laughs> how this little 
tab here comes out too large. Anyways, so enter, and I hate it how it does that as well. It's all kinds of stupid in my opinion. And we're gonna give it the fire pot sprite, and it's gonna be solid. And we're going to first add an event. When this creates, what do we want to happen? Well, what we want want to happen is we need to set a timer or how to or how Game Maker calls them alarms. Now, um, you need to understand frame rate with uh with Game Maker. It's it's alarms don't run on seconds. It runs on the frame rate, and you set your constant frame rate in the game, and it's it's default set to thirty. So every thirty frames, um, if the timer was set to thirty. This what we want to happen would happen. So when it creates, we want to set this alarm. Okay, so we're gonna set the alarm steps number of steps here. That is the um, that's the number of frames I pass. So we're gonna set it to 45 every second and a half. This is gonna go off, and it's gonna be set to alarm number uh, zero. So we're gonna add event alarm zero. When alarm zero goes off, what do we want to happen? Well we want to create a fireball that and we want to create the fireball and when the fireball is created it will start moving up so what will happen is we're going to come over here to the objects right click create instance it's just this uh... it's a wonderful electron and we're going to create the fireball now when we create this fireball where is it going to be at well we want it to spawn where the fire pot is so we're going to have it spawn by checking relative it's going to spawn relative to where the fire pot is Okay that makes sense now we'll come over here into our test level 2 I'll get rid of this block and we're gonna add our fire pot right now we're gonna run our game so shoots our fireball but now we wait a little bit longer nothing happens the fireball doesn't the fireball doesn't shoot again now why is that why doesn't our fireball shoot again well we didn't set the alarm again because this alarm only goes off after 45 frames and doesn't go off again so we're gonna come back to our fire pot. So when so when this shoots the uh, shoots the fireball, what do we want to happen? Well, we want it to shoot again. So we'll come over here to our what's this thing? What is it called? Oh, sorry. We need to go, we need to go back to our alarms. I need to find them. Where are they at? We need to set our alarm again. We need to set it. We need to set it back to 45. Now, if we set it back to 45 again, it will be after the first 45 frames. So we need to set it relative to the last one. So um, a second and a half again it'll shoot again okay so we're gonna check relative we're good to go so we have that now we want it so when you collide with the fireball you die right so um, we're just gonna exit out of the room we're gonna change, save our changes to the level I'm gonna have it so when the, uh, when the player at event collision with the fireball we're going to just because we have it in here we're gonna set we're gonna copy both of these over because the same thing happens when you hit the turtles and paste them in here now we also need to make sure what happens when he f collides with the fire pot because right now he can go through the fire pot and down the floor so add event collision with the fire pot and we're just gonna have him stop moving just like our wall so that's it's now our fire pot mechanics in is there something I'm missing I feel like there's something I'm missing so we hit him here and oh it killed us so shoots 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 ah I remember what I was missing those fireballs look a little slow so we're gonna modify them to shoot 15 is it 15 seems like a good one that's still a little slow let's, let's give them let's just give it a speed of 20 and then we run it yep that's good right there so now we've added so you can start creating objects like so at runtime you can start moving your you can like make bullets this is this is the basic mechanic for adding bullets so you can shoot this is the um base it, it, it's the basic mechanic for shooting it's it's so you can create stuff at runtime it's like you could create random of these guys that um while the program's running if you wanted to but you gotta make sure you delete them because eventually the it, it'll, it's a memory leak in the program even though they're off the screen not being used we're still checking against um they're still being played. It's it's no good. You just need to make sure that you delete them. Okay. I'm sorry if that's a little vague, but uh, you you need to add that instance where they're destroyed when they hit something, or 
they go out of screen which uh, I'll show you that too you know if you wanted them not to delete when they hit the wall what we could do is go to our fireball and instead of collision with wall we could add event other and I think it's outside room that's when it leaves the room that's when it leaves the uh, scene when it leaves the uh, camera portion of the scene that you can see but I, I don't want to go into that right now so we've we've added a new little enemy see now we can start making more levels I actually had a little bit of depth to them you can like make it so they have timing that they have to get through all kinds of cool stuff like that and I think next tutorial we'll get into variables and making these guys is it guys image split the ones that move back and forth when you're playing but for right now I think we're good I'll see you guys later